Greetings, friends. Forgive me my appearance, but I'm on retreat this week. I locked myself down in my study, and um, I will emerge by Sunday, I'm sure. But I want to talk to you a little bit about the readings for this coming Sunday. I just love them. They're full of light. Yes. First of all, let's consider Isaiah's prophecy, which all the prophecies of Jesus in the Old Testament are amazing. Um, but this is really, really unique because we have Isaiah, who's in Jerusalem. He's looking up to the north of the country around the region of Galilee. The tribes there, Naphtali and Zebulun, they are like really nothing compared to all the other tribes. Um, the area is the backwaters, literally. Not only that, but it was invaded by the Assyrians in Isaiah's time, and the people there were um, were defeated and repopulated by pagans, and therefore it's called the Galilee of the Gentiles. Okay, and Isaiah sees that they are sitting and they're walking in darkness, but they will see a great light. And lo and behold, 700 years later, we see Jesus, God incarnate, entering into the world. And where does he start his ministry? Where is most of his ministry happening? In Galilee of the Gentiles. It's such a glorious fulfillment of this a prophecy. Think about it. You know, he... he, he he comes upon these ordinary men, fishermen, in this backwater, and he inspires them to greatness, to glory, fulfilling this prophecy. And we have to, as we see and think about the calling of disciples, and it's very simple place but such so the narrative is so full of light for us to be able to enter into that light it takes um it takes seeing with our interior eyes so to speak the bible always talks about our physical eye uh, senses especially our seeing and our hearing and that there is something corresponding to these in our interior, like we got spiritual eyes and spiritual ears, and we have to be able to hear with our spiritual eyes and spiritual ears, Ear, you know, to see with our spiritual eyes and hear with our ears. Um, that's always the call in the, in the Gospels and even in the Old Testament, too. So we enter into this scene. We become contemporary with it. We enter into our own calling by reading this Gospel by being able to see the light. Now, why is it that we don't see the light so easily? Well, it's because I think, if we're honest with ourselves, we dwell too much in the darkness. Okay. Yeah. We are full of ourselves, full of things that are transient, and that's all darkness. And the Apostle John tells us that, um, that, that we are sort of afraid of the light because the light exposes the the darkness within us okay so what we must do is really repent for our moral and spiritual darkness and we're so used to it that we think that we're in the light when we're really in the dark so we have to repent and realize that we are in the dark and long for the light and that takes us to the psalm. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Wow. That says it all. One thing I ask the Lord, that I shall seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord 
meditate in his temple. To behold the beauty of the Lord. That word in Hebrew uh, suggests um, gazing. Okay. We have to take time just to sit back and gaze upon the beauty of the Lord. That's David's real wish. We can do this in this life, even though we can't be in church all the time. Um, it, you know, and we're very busy. David is very busy with a lot of things. But having that one desire, keeping the main thing the main thing, of wanting to behold the glory of God with our interior eyes. And, and even in our chapel, we can gaze upon with our physical eyes the um, the blessed sacrament. And as we do, our physical eyes being connected to our interior eyes can take in the beauty of God. As we can with all the beauty and natural light behind creation. Because behind it all is God. So, um, the light, having eyes to see it. That's a nice thing to talk about here in January, isn't it? Where we suffer from light deprivation. <laughs> but let us not suffer from the true light deprivation. That is being in spiritual and moral darkness. Come out into the light. One thing I've asked the Lord that I shall seek. God bless you.